Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're going to go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. All right, collective. So I'm continuing to get energy about y'all's ex out here that's having a real hard time with this being eclipsed out. They can't handle it, y'all. <laughs> they can't handle it. It, you know, my last video that I uploaded, it's like they feel mad and in pain at the same time. That has got to be like really excruciating. But the thing about it is, is that this was supposed to happen. They were supposed to get clipped, eclipsed out because they didn't know how to stop planning your energy. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if they didn't get the message, it's happening one way or the other, whether they like it or not. And how are they feel is exactly how they were supposed to feel because that is what's making things balanced. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, when it comes to that energetic backfire, it's like the energy of the collective right now is elevating. You're you're getting, you know, lighter energy. You're uh, getting higher activations, right? You know, if you're not getting that energy, return the sender times 10 that jump because it's not your negative energy. You should not be in negative energy right now. You should be feeling lighter. You should be feeling happy, vibrant. Uh, the color that I pulled for you is pink. Your pink aura, right? Moving out of your heart chakra. That's the energy of the collective right now. So if you're picking up on any negativity, cleanse your energy, ground, center, and return to center times 10, all that negativity because it's not your energy. Don't take it, okay? But on the other side of the fence, yes, all the karmics are in their fields. They are feeling this eclipse season because they are being eclipsed out. Confirm with this nine of wands and up right here. This is somebody who's feeling like the wounded warrior over here. They're in the battle, a little worse for wear. Their hands, um, you know, heads bandaged up, right? But they feel like they still have to, you know, be on the defense, right? Kind of push through and overcome obstacles, right? This is like the energy that they feel, right? They have to, you know, uh, keep on the defense, right? Because they were beaten. Energetically, they're beaten. You're not out here. You're not doing anything. This is an energetic backfire. They are feeling the eclipse energy. Trust me, they're feeling it. You know, one way or another, whether you shut them down, whether you, you block them, you're not inter entertaining them. They're not in your energy. One way or then another, they know energetically that they have been beaten. Five of Swords. This is a loss in battle. They they are defeated, right? And it makes them mad or unhappy, right? Ten of Cups in the inverse. They're just generally not happy. Probably have some commitment issues. Obviously, they couldn't commit to you or didn't want to commit to you. But it's making them very unhappy, very discontent, right? And they're unrealistic in their ideas about things, unrealistic in their emotions about you, Emperor. You're coming out as the Emperor right now, masculine or feminine. Energy, take it how it resonates. This is you in your seat of power. You're in control. You're disciplined. You're a leader, right? You're in control without being controlling. This is you in your seat of power. You are standing on business, okay? Business. <laughs> you are doing this. Like, it's a very, it's like very planted, grounded energy. It's like, man, if I, if your your feet were like planted on the ground, I, I kept, kept telling you guys, I kept feeling grounded energy. I'm feeling, I'm feeling it with this inter, uh, emperor as well. Very, very grounded in your energy. You're not moving. You ain't budging. You are in your seat of authority. You don't care what's going on outside of you because that ain't your business. Your energy is the opposite of theirs, right? Right. And this is you standing firm on business. Business, baby. Because, you know, they carry the energy of the six of, uh, six of swords in the inverse, right? They wanted to stay in, in chaotic waters, stay in karmic waters, right? And then that makes them their own worst enemy. So they wanted to play in karmic land. They wanted to be karmic themselves, right? Whoever this person might be, whether it's your ex, friend, family member, your boss, coworker, take the energy as it resonates. You know, it's them getting the energetic backfire that this eclipse season is meant for them. You, you honey, you're not doing anything. This is an energetic backfire. They are realizing they're getting eclipsed out and they can't take it. Oh, well, too bad, so sad. This is what's supposed to happen, right? But then, so you got the six of swords and the inverse, right? Being their own worst enemy, staying in karmic situations, right? Chaotic situations. Then you got this ten of swords and the inverse here, which is typically trying to overcome some type of painful ending, backstabber, betrayal, and recover. But I don't feel that. I don't because this nine of wands right here is, you know, trying to be on the defense, trying to still defend themselves against this loss. You see what I'm saying? So this ten of swords and the inverse also pulls in the energy of re uh, avoiding recovery. That's exactly what I feel like they're doing. Because it's like, it's an energy of like pain and rage is what I feel. They're not recovering from anything. It's like feeding on itself, right? In, in, in you know, my last reading that I uploaded, it was kind of like, that's what's making the energy balance. You're in a high vibing energy and they're in a low vibing energy. And apparently the universe has got to balance itself out, right? <laughs> so 
them avoiding recovery is the energy of this Ten of Swords that I'm pulling, right? And this is confirmed with the Four of Wands in the inverse, some type of canceled event, something that did not work out well, you know, something that did not happen as, as they planned, it didn't happen as they hoped for regarding you, High Priestess. You're coming out as an Emperor and the High Priestess, y'all. Told you, y'all coming out powerful. It's like y'all cannot be moved. Y'all are so planted, so grounded in your energy, which is exactly where you should be. High Priestess energy, this is you following your intuition, right? Staying out of this negative energy because it's not yours and you're returning at the center times 10. You see what I'm saying? This is you. You 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 know what's going on energetically. I mean, if you do pick up on it, you know how to return it, right? Um, you know, you know what's going on with the sex, that they're not happy, that they can't get in your energy. They can't come back. You know what I'm saying? This person will never be able to come back to you ever. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like one of those things to where, um, you know, um, I got to download is like, y'all are adversaries now. Like, it's like no sugarcoating it. Y'all are adversaries. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like one of those energies. They see you and you, you see them. You, you both know your adversaries at this point. It, it's, they're not coming back to you. You see what I'm saying? You are protecting yourself so hard. You're standing on business. You're like, uh, uh I don't care what you got going on. Not my problem. Close the door, lock it, bolt it, all that junk. You know what I'm saying? With this high priestess energy, like you know without knowing, you don't even have to be around this person. You know exactly what's going on with them energetically, right? You know, you hold a lot of secrets. You don't have to tell everybody everything that you know, but you know what you know that you know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my God. I love y'all's energy out here. It is so powerful. This is exactly where the collector should be, right? Meanwhile, this one over here is carrying the energy of the chariot in the upright. Wanting to continue to have push forward with confidence, uh, security, and success moving forward. But look what they want to move forward with. Page of Pentacles in inverse. A another bad investment. More bad investments. You know, things that are not worth their absolute time. You know what I'm saying? With the Page of Pentacles in the inverse. Whatever they invested in that got them a loss right up here that they're trying to avoid, they want to do it again. Y'all, this person never learns. They're not that bright. <laughs> they're not that bright. Y'all, just pray for this person. Just pray for this person. It's sad at this point. Like, it's just, it's really, I want to say, um, I, I want to feel bad for this person, but it's like, it's, it's, it's really showing how much this person does not learn their lessons. But that's what's happening right now in the energy to be eclipsed out of your, out of your energy. They're being eclipsed out so they can learn a lesson. But this person is like determined not to learn a lesson about whatever your two of cups uh, situation is. This keeps coming out in the energy. I'm telling y'all, Whoever this person is, your ex, the karmic, your friend, your family member, your boss, your, your co-worker, I don't care who this is. This is somebody hyper-focused on whatever that two of cups is. It could be a relationship. It could be a friendship. It could be a business partnership. It can be your spiritual journey in general. It could be a, a new craft, a new hobby. However, this two of cups situation shows up, somebody was hyper-focused on it and you. You see what I'm saying? And it did not work out as they expected because they were trying to play games and manipulate you as youngster for kids. Tricks are for kids, right? They can go play with the other tricks, right? <laughs> You're an adult. You don't do those type of things, which is why you're moving on. Eight of Cups in the upright. You're moving on from this whole emotional situation. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm really feel like you guys have really learned your lesson because the death card came out for you, um, which that's a good death. You were ending something to get something new, a new beginning with this new Two of Cups. It might be a new boo. It might be a new friendship, partnership, whatever type of shit, right? But it's a good mix. It's a good thing. It's equal footing. It feels good. It's not forced. Meanwhile, this person's out here dying a horrible death because that is the death card for them. You get the death card in, in the, the way that it's a new beginning for you because you are choosing to transform. You are choosing to move into the new. You are choosing to move into whatever that two of cups is. If you have not had it yet, it's either got it or it's on the way. So this is the energy of that eclipse season choosing to transform and accept the new energy that's coming in. Meanwhile, somebody's avoiding it and they're just die hard, just determined to be a loser, like an infinite time loser. I don't know how many times this person has lost, you know, coming against you, high priestess, emperor energy, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, it's like a, a, a bore at this point. This person is like destined to repeat losing, right? Because they're never coming back to you, right? Which is why you're moving on, eight of cups, right? Moving on from this person who carried the energy of the King of Swords in the inverse. This is like a tyrant energy. This person is very rude, cruel, manipulative, judgmental, um, very exploitive, a liar and a manipulator. This person thought that they can manipulate you to getting back with them or to force something with you. You try to make you do something with them. You try to sleep with them, be with them, do something with them. This person like uses energy of force. And then when it doesn't work out because they're not as powerful as they think, 
they don't know what to do with themselves. They get all mad in their feelings and kind of like pound their hand on the desk. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, wah. <laughs> you know, I'm. It, it's really childish at a certain point. This person does use words in a negative way. So they may, um, you know, say things, you know, out of, you know, spite or what have you. But like, I feel the energy of like, it's, it's tired. Like it's, it's tired. Like this has been done multiple times over again. It doesn't phase you anymore. You don't care about it anymore. They can say whatever they got to say, but it does not phase you because you are more powerful than them, baby. Look at your energy. Look at your energy and look at their energy and look at how they're still losing. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't care what they do. It's like, give it a rest. Why don't you like, do you see that you're a loser? Like, do I need to send you this video to tell you that you're a loser? I'm just saying, because this person keeps losing, right? But they don't get it. This person also carries the, the, the sword in a negative way. So whatever they say, they can possibly have some legal issues because of the things that they say, you know, out of their mouth or communicate. This also might be some corrupt lawyer or judge, um, you know, who does things illegally and they can get sued or in, and or put in jail for the things that they do. I did pull that energy out in the readings that I, um, I did once yesterday or the day before, you know, um, some corrupt energy in the judicial system and the entertainment industry. So this might be one of those people, right? Because they wanted to carry the energy, the ace of wands and the inverse, this is blocked energy. They can't manifest, they can't create right this is just block chakras all the way now you know what i'm saying this is also male impotent so this might be that ex who just wants to sleep with you and this is like it's like somebody who just gets mad and angry when you don't have sex with them bruh no this is not dark ages so whoever this person is that was like really forceful with that energy they keep getting sat down and know they cannot come back to you with this energy because it's not going to work and then the last clarifier of this reading it's going to leave them in the energy of the nine of cups in the inverse excuse me four of cups in the inverse rather this is them being very self-absorbed and depressed. We keep saying that they're in their feelings, they're depressed. Yes, they're mad, they're sad, they're in pain, they're raging, and they don't know what to do because they are avoiding healing. Y'all see that? That 10 of swords in the inverse, they're avoiding healing. They don't know what to do with themselves because they don't have emotion. They don't They don't move out of the heart chakra, which is the, the big difference in the energies right now between the collective and the karmics. Collective is moving out of the heart chakra. We know how to love, we know how to heal, we know how to nurture. This person doesn't. So they just implode on themselves, which is exactly what's happening in this energy. And it keeps coming out. They're imploding on themselves because they don't know what to do because they will never be allowed to come back to you. Let's get a vision of duality card so we can help our energies move forward. Card 21, the castle that broke it down. All right, let's see what this says. Control is an illusion. One cannot choose what to feel and when to feel as many things come bundled together like joys and sorrows. The only way to never be hurt is to never open oneself up to feelings because being hurt will just happen. And as it will happen, it will also go away. The human being is a fragile creature. The fortress we erect to protect our own heart, luckily built with sand and will crumble with the tide. They can make us invulnerable though through the night, but in the sun, it is wiser to accept our fragilities. Advice, do not build walls that you, could, you do not need just because you may need them. There's a quote here that I like. It's by Apollo... Koho, I I really botched that name up. It's uh, spelled C O E L H O. Paulo Koho. All right. The quote is: "The strongest love is a love that can demonstrate its fragility." That's exactly what it is. This person did not want to move out of the heart chakra, so it's like your energies are polar opposites right now. This person was full of hate, full of lies, and expecting to rule by tyranny and control, and lost you because you don't move that way. So this is the universe energetically saying. No, your energy is not a match to the collective. You will not be allowed to come back in that person's energy. You cannot come back ever because their, pro their castle is breaking it down. All right, let's get a profit card and we'll wrap up. Card 20, the light that lingers becomes a shadow to another light. This talks about freedom. And I, I like the energy, like you guys are moving away, that eight of cups energy. You're moving away to get your freedom. You know, however that resonates in your situation, you block that person, you hold them. No, you cannot come back. I'm not talking to you no more. Leave me alone. However it is, you're getting your freedom. You shall be free indeed when your days are not without a care, nor your nights without a want or a grief, but rather when these things girdle your life and yet you rise above them naked and unabound. And how shall you rise above your days and nights unless you break the chains which you at your dawn hour of understanding have fastened around your noon hour? In truth, that which you call freedom is the strongest of those chains, though it links glitter in the sun and dazzles your eyes. And what is it but fragments of your own self would you discard that you may become free? Y'all, 
You discarded that ex to become free or whoever this person is. <laughs> you said, look, I am not dealing with your shenanigans. I'm not dealing with your tyranny. I'm not dealing with your rudeness. I'm not dealing with anything that you got going on because you move in hate and I move in love out of my heart chakra. I'm getting in freedom. I'm moving in freedom and your castle is breaking at dawn. All right, so that's gonna go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.